Hello my wonderful friends, Magus with you, and today we're going to talk about love, 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 being love, and I prepared a different message today, I actually worked hours on it, uh, but my heart went a different way, and the reason is I, I got a message from one of our wonderful friends, and one of their friends tried to commit suicide, and they're asking if the Magi would pray, and of course we do. Um, but I've also seen recently just a rise in suicides. We've talked about this, and uh, in young kids, in the area I live alone in the last couple years, it's doubled uh, the teenage suicide rate, and it's actually now in the elementary school, kids are committing suicide. And so I was praying, God, I don't want to give this message that I put together. I want something that's going to make a difference in these kids' lives. Maybe someone that's contemplating this and feels there's no hope for the future will see this and, and get that hope. And my friends, we find that hope in love. There is a better way. There is a, a higher way. And it's being love. And so we're going to talk more about that. First, I want to read the, the words of Jesus. He said, Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. Then ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. And isn't that the message of the Magi and of the Essenes, the all good Father that sends his love on everyone, has no enemies. We love our enemies. Praise God. For if you love them which love you, what reward have you? Do not even the publicans do the same? Now I looked up this publicans, it's a tax collector, which I thought was funny. So what he's saying here, if you love those that love you, uh, even the worst they could think of at the time, which was a tax collector, they even do that. Uh, and it says, if you salute your brethren only, what do you more than the others? Do not even the publicans do that. Be therefore perfect, even as your Father which in, is in heaven is perfect. And again, just that beautiful picture of the all-loving Spirit. And th that, my friends, is the message of Jesus. He didn't teach the Jehovah, the eye for an eye. He taught the loving Spirit. And that's the message of the Magi. That's the message of the Essenes, the sect of Judaism that Jesus was in. And my friends, that changes everything. When you restore God's image as the highest principle of good that is all love, peace, joy, and kindness. He does not hate, war, kill, or destroy. You restore His image, your image gets restored. And then of course we got to look at Asha 3. It says, my only job, hear this my friends, my young friends, if you're struggling right now, understand this. Your only job is to align and hold continuously in your mind the attributes of God, which are love, life, peace, joy, power, and freedom, and to be those attributes. So it's not something you're just trying to do. It's going to be something you become. And how you're going to become that is by raising your consciousness, what I'm going to try to show you how to do. Because we must get that highest principle of good, because the principles of the world always leave you empty and wanting more but when you get the true principle the highest principle of good then my friends you, you get fulfilled you get satisfied Jesus said verily verily I say unto you he who holds my vibration has good life God life so we need to hold these high frequencies and when you do that everything changes you've been lied to by the governments by the religions by uh, they've even presented you a false god that's mixed that's at war sometimes, at peace sometimes, love sometimes, hate sometimes and they've done that to try to be, bring control and that's why so many kids are committing suicide because they see no hope they look at the government that's been presented to them they look at the religion that's been presented to them they look at the god 
that has been presented to them. They look at the lifestyle, what they have to look forward to, and it gives them nothing to look forward to. And so, my friends, that's why they're not going to get any help from the government or from the education system. Uh, that's the dark system. That's the matrix. And so it's so important, our message. You are doing a great thing, Magi by bringing this message of hope and light and as we're holding these vibrations and living in peace and joy in this beautiful world my friends we're giving these kids hope today I mean my life is beautiful I got up and I made my smoothie that is uh, fruits and vegetables and spices and seasonings and then I go for a run in that early morning air along the beautiful lake and and just living free and then I took the dogs down and we jumped in the lake and swam and then I come back and I spend time putting these messages of love light and hope out and my friends it's beautiful I go hiking up into the mountains and just spend time hearing from God and holding these high frequencies and we're doing something we're giving people hope there's no satisfaction in trying to grab the things of the world uh, trying to get a Rolex watch or try to get a car with a fancier emblem or tr just trying to grab 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 things that always leave you empty inside Jesus said if you have two tunics or robes if you will give one to the poor it's not about grabbing things there's a, a magic that happens when we are living from our morals from these higher frequencies when we're eating a plant-based diet because my friends nowadays you know you can get the nutrition you need from a plant-based diet there's protein supplements if you want them everything you need there's no need to make another creature or being suffer and that's why I want to talk about today the being love and not just doing different acts of love and I'm going to show you the difference when you're just doing an objective love like say people might love their pet their dogs or their cats, but they're fine with killing other animals uh, and eating them. That's an objective love, or people do that with people. Uh, if they're not of their race or of their religion or of their nation, then they're just infidels. Uh, they might love their own, but those out there, those people, they're uh, unbelievers, they're infidels, they're whatever name they put on them, and they can hate them and not love them and kill them and war with them and it brings prejudice and fear and, and my friends but when you're unconditional love you love all the animals you love all the people then you're being perfect like your father in heaven is perfect that lets his love shine on all the good and the evil because that is just your nature that's what you are you are no longer in that mixed world and my friends my young friends don't even think about killing yourself there's a better way you might it might seem dark now because in what you've seen what you've been presented but let us present you a higher way living in the light living in love living in peace living in joy in your good and a way you can start doing this right now to feel better today is meditation my friends as we come to these higher frequencies uh, our very DNA and mind changes our genes change our brains rewire and we start to see and experience the world differently you could start today by just closing your eyes and just feel love think of something you love right now maybe it's a, a dog or a pet or a friend think of that love and then just feel that love what does that feel like and just hold that for a minute that is God. You are hearing from God. You are experiencing God right now. It's not a mean, angry guy in the sky. He's all love. It's that spirit of love. Think of peace right now. Okay, in your own mind, you can go to a peaceful place. Is, is, is there somewhere that when you think of it's peaceful? Okay, go to that place and, and just hold that vibration of peace for a minute and feel that and you're actually changing your vibration and with our thoughts we make our world and you'll start changing your world by rewiring your brain my friends it's a beautiful life a beautiful world and better days are coming beautiful days in the sun are coming get ready God loves you I love you I will see you next time